take two because I don't know what I'm doing. Hello. It's been September, October, November, December, January, February, March, April, May, June, July. It's been like 10 months since I posted a video. And I could sit here for five, ten minutes and give you all the excuses as to why I haven't done it. But I'm not going to because that's not why I'm here. And to be honest with you, I don't really know why I'm here. I bought a nice camera and a microphone that picks up every little sound. And you're sitting on a tripod so that I could film YouTube videos. And it's not like I haven't filmed any. I have filmed a few videos and then by the time I get around to editing and uploading them, like three or four weeks have passed and they seem irrelevant. Um, let's just talk about what's been going on with me. Um, so I haven't worked since March and then I got laid off in May, like officially laid off in May. Um, so I've been at home since March and it's now the beginning of July. So, um, yeah, I've just been doing my thing at home like everyone else. Well, most everyone else. In the beginning of this whole lockdown thing, um, I was feeling very overwhelmed and I had a lot of anxiety um, just about like everything that was going on. And I basically sat and did nothing for a month and a half, but watched TV and stuffed my face and browse Reddit. And then I got really angry at the news and I deleted all the social media off of my phone and decided that I was not going to sit around and do that because it didn't help my anxiety at all. It was just making it worse and worse. So I started, I was like working out more like once a day for at least 30 minutes. I found a YouTube channel um, that does videos for like beginners and stuff. So I was doing that because like it was raining outside. But once it started to clear up and get a little warmer, I was going hiking a couple of times a week. I was doing great. I was eating well. I was feeling better. And then just I slowly, slowly, slowly slipped back into my old self again. And I hit a bad point where we were like ordering food a few times a week and I was just sitting around not doing anything and I finally was like I can't do this because this is so bad like I talk about having anxiety all the time and it's so bad for me to just be sitting here letting this happen letting it affect my mental health the way that it is I have been trying to eat as plant-based as possible. Um, it's just like I can't, I can't stomach dairy anymore and I never really ate a ton of meat anyways. Tomorrow I'm actually going to get a chemical peel on my face because um, the last time I was at the dermatologist which is back in February, January, February, we had talked about that um, like most of this stuff here is all scarring from um, my acne. So she referred me to their in-house esthetician and she had called me in March but then everything shut down. I called her last week to see when they were open back up and I got an appointment for this week. So tomorrow I'm going to get a chemical peel which will be the first of like four or five um, to help you know even out my skin because again like all of this on my cheeks well I mean I do have a few pimples here there but you can see like I just have a bunch of acne scarring that really affects with my confidence um in my skin so if you see me in the next video I'll probably have peely skin but you're not allowed to excessively sweat while doing it and you're not allowed to be in the sun for three or four days afterwards the problem is is that I walk outside when it's humid and I just start sweating buckets I'm trying to cultivate an environment for myself that I feel confident in I know that might sound weird to some people because some people don't deal with anxiety, don't know what it is, or haven't really ever felt it. So it's different for everyone. I know that. But for me, like the environment that I live, I'm constantly anxious, constantly worried. Somebody's like looking at me weird or talking about me behind my back or thinking something that I'm, I'm mindful of how I act, but not necessarily like 
how other people act and I'm always constantly worrying that other people are thinking bad about me because I'm trying to put off this persona that I'm a nice caring respective person but how others perceive you might be like a phony or whatever but that's just that's just the kind of person I am. I'm always anxious about it. Always anxious about it. That's kind of where I'm at right now. I definitely want to get back to doing this because this brought me a lot of joy and this is always something I wanted to do. I know there's a lot of toxicity in the YouTube community right now but I'm really thankful that my parents always told me to be mindful about what I put online because it's there forever no matter what you do. So that's all I have right now. I just want to say thanks again for watching and if you have any ideas of videos you want me to see, I ordered some softbox lights so that I could film some cooking videos in my kitchen just because the lighting in my kitchen sucks. So I ordered the softbox so we could do some um, recipes together and whatnot. Like the other day I made sweet potato mac and cheese which was just like sweet potatoes like blended to be like cheese and it was actually like really good. I'm actually gonna go now and look up some recipes and get a grocery list together. Um, so maybe I'll do a grocery haul next. I do need to clean the kitchen first though. But um, yeah, so thanks so much for watching and I will definitely see you soon. Probably in the next week. I'm gonna try to upload a video every Tuesday like I used to or at least every other Tuesday. If I can. I can. I can. I just gotta be positive. I can do this. I can do this. Woo! Sorry. Okay, bye.